under 21 nightlife. Um, there's not much. Non-existent. <laughs> not. I am in at 10.30. I don't have a fake ID. I could have a fake ID. People still wouldn't believe I'm 21. People don't believe I'm 18 right now. I don't have a fake ID. I am 20, I'm almost 21, so um, I think I'm just gonna wait it out. But, um, I mean, I'd be so scared. I'd be scared of getting caught. I'm a crotchy old man in like in a 20 year old body, so I, I feel like if I'm older and I look back at all these like 18 year olds in the club with five fake IDs, I'm like, fuck these kids. <laughs> so I try and avoid it as much as, I've got three months left, so. It's What's the like, point? It stops you being like a hypocrite when you turn 21 because then you can bitch about people with Yeah, I'm gonna bitch so hard. Whereas like I was a 17 year old oh. kid in a bar and now I don't want 17 year olds in a bar exactly. because I'll probably take one home. That's my mentality. Oh my God. <laughs> if you have to Google like... <laughs> Legal age of consent. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you need to know. Like, stop. Oh, I went to a comedy show in Andersonville. Did it get crazy? No, no. There were like uh, there were like six people there. Yeah, I, I sometimes hear other people partying it up, and they sound like they're having a good time. I sometimes go out and like see like improv shows, or I go to see movies and things like that. There's a lot that you can do that doesn't require you to be able to drink. Uber's basically when you pay a stranger to come by in their car and drive you somewhere. It's the thing in my life that validates my fear of being murdered the most. I have yet to take an Uber and I don't know that I ever will. Just the concept just kind of stresses me out. First, I have to download an app, like fucking slit my throat with a steak knife. Uber is really great if you're trying to uh, get around the city super fast. Um, it's an app on your phone and you just, you press a button and then it shows you how much it's, the ride is going to be and you don't actually have to pay the driver. Um, it's all through the app. I had a friend who every time we were in Uber would ask the Uber driver, so how long have you been in the Uber business? And then we would all start trying not to laugh about it, but it was a really awkward experience and they'd always take the questions really seriously and start talking about their time with Uber, which is not the most interesting story, I'll tell you. Uh, one time I was in an Uber with my friend here and she's an acting major and I'm a comedy major. So we were in the car and the guy was like, so y'all go to school? And we were like, yeah, Columbia. He's like, what are you studying? And we told him. And then he whips out this legal pad from like his car console and gives us this pen while we're driving. And he says, oh, sign that. Put your autograph in your name. So when I'm watching TV and I see y'all, I'll be like, I drove them. So that happened. We took an Uber together um, out to our friend's shady house. Slum party! <laughs> on the west side. Um, There's gang tags on his porch. Yeah, he was so like, our Uber driver was from the south side. Yeah. And he's like, why are you guys going out here? This is a rough neighborhood. Here. And he was really nice because he was like, I'm going to stay outside so you guys don't get shot. <laughs> yeah. I'm in this car and I'm worried about like, oh, like, does this person like me? Do like, is, are they worried about if I like them? It's like a fucking first date. Like I just, I just want to get to my destination. Yeah, if if you're like drunk and you don't want to try to take the subway home because like you're afraid of falling onto the tracks and dying, then take Uber. It's really great. Uber fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> Cat calling is, you know, it's when it's dinner time and you know you crack open a can of fancy feast and you just plop it down in the bowl and like kitty 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 kitty. Ugh, cat calling. Ugh. That like that's like the sound that like I associate with cat calling. Ugh. Is that how they cat call you? No. It'd be a lot better if they did. Um, cat calling is like the laziest way to try to pick someone up. You just like yell nice tits across the street and hope it works out I don't for you. I don't understand why people think it works. If it did work, everyone would do it. Like yeah. I'd do it if it worked. But <laughs> it's extremely disrespectful. Huh? <laughs> My personal stance on it is that why isn't it happening more to me? Didn't you yell at some guy? <gasps> that wasn't okay. I was walking into the train station. And I passed a guy, and as I, I had all the stuff in my head, I was like, and I rehearse it as I'm walking, like in my brain, I'm like, I'm And I was walking, and a guy passed me, and he said, hey, sweetie. 
and I whipped around and I said, who asked? And he was on his phone. So he was actually <laughs> talking to like his wife or husband or someone. And I like, he didn't, I don't think he heard me or he kind of went along. But I was like, <laughs> like ready to, ready to fight. I try to surround myself with people that are like less attractive than me to boost my own ranking. I don't know, I try to really surround myself with like the bottom of the barrel. Men say that it happens to them, but I feel like it mostly happens to ladies. I've never heard a, heard a woman be like, what would a woman say? Like, hey, your beard looks good. C good job supporting cancer. <laughs> I mean, That's I got catcalled in Boys Town once. I've gotten catcalled in Boys yeah. Town. The guy was like, where are you going? I was like, home. Yeah. He's like, all right, let's go home. I was like, no thanks. I was, <laughs> I was with my girlfriend at the time, and he was like, you have really nice eyes. And I was like, you do have really nice eyes. I do have, you have nice eyes, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never been catcalled because I feel like I'm wearing a beanie a lot and I could be like a, a man from behind. Like a weirdly shaped man, like a more Danny DeVito <laughs> than like a Bradley Cooper. <laughs> and they're like, hey sweetheart, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so they're like, they get like afraid of me. They're like, oh, she shouldn't look so beautiful while she's walking down the street, she's asking for it. It's like, no, I'm wearing a cocktail dress because I'm a fancy bitch, not because I want your disgusting compliments.